Welcome back, Future Criminologists! In this video, I will be discussing object or real evidence. Object as evidence Object as evidence are those addressed to the senses of the court. When an object is relevant to the fact in issue, it may be exhibited to, examined, or viewed by the court. The definition covers any material that may be seen, heard, smelled, felt, or touched. They are the sensual evidence and are grouped into three. First, those exhibited to the court or observed by it during the trial. For example, the weapons used, the articles recovered or seized as subjects of an offense, the wound or scars in the body in physical injury cases. Second, those which consist of the results of inspections of things or places conducted by the court outside the court. This is also called ocular or sight inspections. For example, inspection of the crime scene for objects which cannot be brought to court, observations can be made by the parties through pictures and other representations such as sketches and measurements. Third, those consist of the results of experiments, tests, or demonstrations, which may be scientific tests or experiments or practical tests or demonstrations, provided the conduct of experiments or tests is subject to the discretion of the court. Next, we go to the limitations regarding admission of objects as evidence. First limitation, the admission must not cause undue prejudice to the court. Second limitation, the admission is subject to the demands of decency and propriety unless the admission is extremely necessary. For example, the exhibition of the private parts in sex cases are generally not allowed. However, where the accused is an old man, the court, in its discretion, may allow the old man to show his private parts to prove he is incapable of committing the crime. Third limitation, exclusion of objects which are offensive to man's sensibilities are repulsive objects. For example, waste matters such as human excreta are not allowed to be presented to the court. Fourth limitation, the procurement, presentation, or inspection must not cause inconvenience or unnecessary expenses out of proportion to the evidentiary value of the object evidence. Fifth limitation, the admission of the object evidence must not violate the right against self-incrimination. I had already discussed the right against self-incrimination in our previous video. I will put the link on the description box. Sixth limitation, in cases of ocular inspections, the condition of the thing or place must not have been altered. And, there must be prior notice of the date, time, and place given to the parties because the inspection is still part of the trial. Next, let us discuss the necessity of presentation of objects in court. The best proof that an object exists is to present it to the court. What are then the instances when the presentation is not necessary? 1. Where the existence of the object is not the very fact in issue, but is merely a collateral fact or are merely used as reference. For example, when a witness testifies that the accused was drinking a bottle of gin when he threatened to shoot the witness, it is not necessary to produce the bottle of gin. 2. Where the article has not been recovered or is outside the jurisdiction of the court. For example, 
stolen articles which are now sold elsewhere. When can documents considered as object evidence rather than documentary evidence? When you use a document to prove the existence of a contract, then the document is used as object evidence. But if you use the document to prove the price of the contract, then it is documentary evidence. I will discuss further documentary evidence in a separate video. I will put the link on the description box when it is already available. Why do we need to know the distinction between documentary and object evidence? We need to know the distinction because if the document is used as object evidence, the best evidence rule, parole evidence rule, hearsay evidence rule will not apply. Parole evidence rule was already discussed in our previous video. Check the description box for the link. I will discuss best evidence rule and here's the evidence rule in another video. To end, please subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more videos.